So hey guys, after using my Apple credit card with the Apple Pay from the last two weeks, I finally got my Apple card delivered. So let's unbox it. Honestly, this card looks so, so amazing that I want to replace it with my existing Chase Bank's Amazon Rewards credit card, but I cannot. So we will talk about why you should not get this card as a student later on. But first, let's talk about the pros of getting this Apple card. So the number one benefit for all the students out there is that it is pretty easy to get in. So for example, if you have a credit score of 500 to 600, and this could be the best first credit card to get. And also like it's pretty easy. It took me maybe 50 to 60 seconds to get it and start using it. So as soon as I got it, I did some shopping. I went to Publix and I'll walk you through all the shopping I've done later on. But the point is within one minute of ordering it, I was able to use it through the Apple Pay or I got the card number as well. So I could use it anywhere I can. And it should be the best first credit card if you are a US citizen or if you have an established credit score of 500 to 600. But if you are an international student, then maybe go for Discover credit card or you know, uh, the credit card like the Bank of America travel rewards credit card because they did not require me to have a social security number at that time and I could easily get in even though I didn't have any credit score. So these should be the first priority and later on this could be second credit card for international students but for US citizens first credit card would be good enough. Now the number two and three reasons is in the UI itself. So let me walk you through the UI or the user experience that I've been getting in the last two weeks through this Apple card. So let me show you my transactions. So it is pretty easy to you know visualize my transactions you can see the color associated with every kind of transaction so let me show you my weekly transaction and monthly transaction it is very very easy to visualize as compared to the other credit cards i have so if i show you my statements of any of the other credit cards so let's first look into the statement of my bank of america credit card it is very very clumsy it is very hard to understand and you don't get a clear picture of what's happening and you have to you know scroll down go to next month and so on and so forth but with the apple credit card everything becomes very seamlessly easy to understand and also the daily cash benefits are easy to interpret as well so let's go through the shopping so, so my top transaction is apple services so i got google photos subscription so if you are making a transaction through Apple Pay, through Apple services, you will get 3% cashback. If you are doing a transaction towards anything with Apple Pay, but even if it is not related to Apple service, for example, if you're not buying an iPhone, if you're going to Publix where they accept Apple Pay, you go to Taco Bell where they accept Apple Pay. You go to Kroger, you go to Walmart, everywhere where they accept Apple Pay, you will get 2% cashback, but everywhere else it will be 1%. And they also have associations with Uber, Uber Eats, Walgreens, T-Mobile. So I also use T-Mobile SIM card in my iPhone. So that's why when I'll be paying that bill of, you know, $240, maybe, no, actually $120 to $150 per year, I'll get 3% cash back. So it will be a good amount of money as well. Because if I would not have ordered an Apple card with this Bank of America credit card, I would have gotten 1.5% cash back. Now it will be better than that. Now talking about my other transaction, I've also bought something from Apple store, which will give me 3% cash back. If I tap on the transaction, I can clearly see I'll be getting $14 cash back. That has already been added in my daily rewards and I will be getting those redeemed pretty much every day i can see them re redeemed every day and once i'll get my you know credit card bill it will be surely be there so it's so so easy to manage now let me show you how you see your credit card number so you top on you tap on the three dots on the top right corner there you can find your card number so that you can use that card number on online websites other than apple as well and now the other benefit that i got was that it always encourages you to pay your bills on time so if you can see on the 
pay early button this is a square if i tap on it accordingly i can choose so let's say the balance is 575 the deadline is in october if i don't want to pay it it shows how much interest i'll be paying so if i even if i pay only 190 dollars it will be zero interest i can go below it then it will start showing me interest oh actually no if i bo go below 100 dollars then interest actually no I, I, i think my credit history is so so good that no matter i pay the bill or not i'll not be getting any interest i think it's for the first time but later on uh, it will show me as i rotate later on maybe show how much interest i'll be paying if i pay less amount now another good good benefit is that let's say you want to buy an iphone you want to buy an apple watch so let me give you a quick example let's say i want to buy apple watch in the future which will cost me out 400 dollars ish now the monthly installments will be 30 35 dollars which i can do only with the help of apple credit card unless i buy on amazon flipkart etc but that will be a different story because apple is giving you an opportunity to do both pay it on emi with zero interest as well as get cash back so if you buy apple watch 400 dollars you will get 3% cash back as well as you can pay monthly installments of like 40 dollars per month now when you're paying through installments the benefit is the money you're saving you can invest it on you know nifty on fidelity you can invest it on stocks you can you know send it to india and do fd which will give you uh interest of 7 to 8% so the point is if you you actually making more money by getting apple products on interest so that's a big big opportunity and my goal is if i'm buying an apple product in the future like maybe macbook or stuff like that i can save money and save a for car and invest and make more money with existing money and then get a car decent car later on so that's a big big benefit now the one big benefit that is very underrated for all the students so upon covid they are giving an opportunity for all the you know all the consumers who have been affected by covid so they are giving you an opportunity to pay zero interest for 2 to 3 months and pay the bill later on if you got affected for example a lot of people during covid didn't have money to buy medicines so apple is actually helping them because it has revenue of 2 trillion dollars so it doesn't matter if people pay you know the bills 2 to 3 months later so that's why this is a good a good opportunity for all the students as well but otherwise i can see on my app the interest is 22% so if i forgot to pay one credit card bill payment which will probably never happen you know why because it notifies me 5 days in advance 4 days in advance every single time i open the app it is big big written You, uh, payment due in 5 days payment due in 4 days so it is giving me regular notifications on time which is not the case with my chase bank credit card my bank of america credit card or you can say my uh which card my delta credit card so all of the credit cards don't do that currently i will have to manually set up later on but it is really simple with apple credit card and one last benefit that is if you are you know buying groceries if you don't want to put your hand in the pocket you can just use your apple watch if you have it and pay seamlessly you don't have to take out your wallet you don't have to take out your phone so it is like saving you 5 10 seconds there as well so those are the benefits now let's talk about the cons Now the first big disadvantage that I'm getting with this Apple card is that I'm actually losing money by getting this card as compared to you know making money. So let me show you on Amazon. So if I use my Chase Bank Rewards Amazon credit card on amazon.com because all the Apple products are definitely available on Amazon as well, then I'll be getting 5% cash back. So for every purchase that I do, I'm losing 2% and not just this. I saw that for Apple Watch which is for Four hundred dollars, around four hundred ten dollars on Apple dot com. It is fifteen to twenty dollars cheaper right now on Amazon. It's from the beginning of this week. So I'm first of all losing fifteen dollars on Apple Watch. Then on the top of that, I'm losing two percent interest that I would have gotten on you know two percent cash back actually, which I would have gotten on Amazon. So I'm losing around if you calculate correctly, four hundred dollars two percent will be around one percent is. Four dollars, so two percent will be eight dollars. So eight dollars on first side, and fifteen to twenty dollars cheaper on Amazon. So around twenty to twenty-four dollars that I'm losing by using the Apple Card to buy the Apple Watch as compared to using Amazon. So that's a con. But the difference is that if I finance using Apple Watch on Apple dot com using this Apple Card, I'll get the cash back. as well as i'll be able to finance with zero interest so they giving you double benefits but on amazon it's only one or the other you can either finance it 
through equal payments on 12 months or get the 5% cash back. So you have to choose. So I think it is still give you an advantage because if you, you know, invest money properly, then you will be getting the advantage. But if you're not investing and if you're just keeping in a bank account, then you're losing $22 at first time. Now the number two disadvantage is if you go to a restaurant where they do not accept Apple Pay. Let's say you are, you know, on a date and you want to hand over this card to your, you know, waiter and put it in the folder then it will give you only 1% cash back. So you will never be using, I'll personally never use this credit card. It will stay home and, or it will never take a place in my wallet because I will actually use either this credit card, which will give me 1.5% cash back on all the purchases because this is Bank of America travel rewards credit card, or I will use this Amazon Prime rewards credit card, which will give me 2% cash back in restaurants, which is same as Apple Pay, or you can say 3% cash back if I am in, whatever, I forgot, 3% somewhere. And also another kind of disadvantage that if you get the city double cash card, which will give you 2% cash back on all the purchases, that is better than the Apple card. Do you know why? First of all, let's say that you buy an Apple product, you will have to pay additional fee for the Apple care. Now, if you get the city double cash awards, you will first of all get 2% cash back on all the purchases. And at the end of the day, you're getting two years of extra warranty. Now, before we dive into conclusion, I want to compare the Apple credit card with the existing credit cards I have. So as an international student in the last three and a half years, I have only used Bank of America travel rewards credit card because my credit history was zero and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to make some credit history and my credit score might be 700 plus here and there. So that's why I got this credit card. And uh, through, through this credit card, I first of all got 1.5% cash back. And I, I travel a lot. I go to India, I went to Canada, Toronto, U London, etc. So throughout my journey, I got zero transaction actually international transaction fee. So I could do that. And same is for Apple because you, there's no hidden fee, no transaction fee, no foreign transaction fee. And same for this. So it was my favorite travel card. But currently, if you want to get a travel card, I think Uber is a better one to choose. And on the top of that, now another experience, I also have this Delta SkyMiles credit card, which I cannot show you because it has the number in the front. I got it because I first of all got $250 cash back when I bought my first Delta ticket. and. Pretty much Atlanta is the hub for Delta because Delta was founded in Atlanta. So you go to anywhere all over the world, you will have a flight going by Delta to Atlanta. So that's why I got it and it's worth it because I can, you know, I have 30 to 35,000 miles with this credit card with zero fee in the first year. So I'm getting pretty much like 500, more than 500 worths of rewards on this Delta credit card. So it's just amazing. Now, other credit card I got was the Amazon Prime credit card, which normal people cannot. I can tell you when I was a student, Chase Bank wrote me an email, said that my yearly income was around maybe $12,000 or less than that when I was a student. They told me that my income is less, so that's why I'm not eligible. So that's why I didn't get this card, but there's another option that is Amazon Store card, which you can get as a student, which will give you 5% cash back. So you can definitely go for it. So as an international student, your step-by-step -step process could be, first, when you have zero credit history, get maybe the Discover credit card, which will be like, you will be eligible if you have zero credit score and if you have decent bank balance, then other option could be Bank of America travel rewards credit card, which you can also get if you have, you know, zero credit score, then you can, once you have built up a good credit, credit once you have built up a good credit score, 600 plus, then you can get maybe Apple credit card. And once it is 700 plus, then you can finally get this Chase Bank uh, credit card because it gives you lots of benefits in gas station. And I just checked on Amazon that when I applied for it, I actually got $100 gift card immediately when I applied. So that was big perk. But on the other hand, uh, for Apple card, I got nothing at all, like Tulu. So let me tell you why I think as an entire student, you should get this in the end or later on because you know the rewards you're getting immediately are much more with these cards for example my first credit card the bank of america travel rewards i got 200 dollars after spending thousand dollars in the first three months so overall i got 200 dollars immediately after applying for this one and with the sec my second credit card was delta wait i cannot show you the number so i got around uh I got around 500 dollars worth of benefits in miles and in terms of cashbacks and then i got this Amazon Prime card, which gave me around 
200 yeah 100 dollars gift card and a lot of you know maximum cash back on amazon and whole foods so that's why you know this is not that worth it as you may think but in terms of simplicity the experience overall experience that i'm getting is just amazing so i will always be using it at publix because two percent cash back at groceries is better than any of my credit card because with bank of america i'll be getting 1.5 percent now at groceries also i can get two percent cash back with apple pay at publix kroger etc so that's the biggest benefit in groceries other than that no no benefits other than getting apple products on interest so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.